Yes, today we are doing the bathroom. <laughs> strangers i am in the bathroom again i am doing a bit of prep work ready for tomorrow for when i do more painting and when i try and put up my wallpaper i have got these these are sandpaper blocks that i got from amazon i will put the prices so you can see how much they cost but i thought i'd give these a go on these markings on the can you remember i scratched off all the cracks here on the door so I'm hoping with a bit of sandpapering, I should get it nice and smooth because it's not out. It's definitely not smooth at the moment. So I'm hoping that this is going to make it nice and smooth. So let's try this. Okay, let me give you a close-up shot so, so we can see what exactly happens with this and if it's any good. Okay, so here's the door. As you can see, it's really lumpy and there's lots of bits of paint that are just hanging off. This was a massive crack in our wood, in this wood here, and I've had to scratch it back quite far, so it's quite a big groove in here. So I'm going to turn it over and use the other side of the block. Um, now I'm trying to get this off. Well, I'll try and smooth it out. Okay, so I think it has smoothed it out a lot. It's not as good as I wanted it to be, but I'm sure the paint, painting it again will surely flatten us out a bit. So yeah. And there's my start for the work tomorrow. Hi strangers. Yes, it is time. It's time to put the wallpaper up. So, um, on Amazon, I have been shopping and I picked up this. This is a wallpaper smoothing toolkit. And I thought this might be helpful for when we were doing this kind of thing. And we have our wallpaper. So I'm gonna put the price here so you can see how much this cost. It wasn't very expensive and I thought it might just be helpful for cutting um, the wallpaper. So in here we have a little um, a Zacto knife and we have a big plastic smoothing thing. We have a little tiny tape measure. I thought this was so cute. And there is another little smoothie thing as well. I thought this might come in handy because I'm not sure what we're gonna need. So. Yeah, let's let's try this, shall we? I'm very worried about it and yeah, let's go. So I'm going to start on this wall. Let me turn a little bit so you can see. And move you over here. You can see all the stuff on my bath now. I think because I'm not sure which, um, how far to come down behind the radiator and things. So let's just crack on and see how we get on. We have a line now, so what I'm going to do now is use a, the Zacto knife and cut. So I have this old box, I'm going to lay that on the floor and I'm going to cut um, the line where I just marked. Okay, wish me luck guys. So I'm just going to peel it down a couple of centimetres.
And then we're going to stick that up to the top of the ceiling, trying to get it nice and straight. Just really get that stuck on there. And then we're going to peel the plastic behind very slowly. And then just keep bringing it down. Tiny little bit of overhang on this side, but hopefully with the exacto knife we're about to cut the slice that off very easily. hardest bit is lining the pattern up so this should be interesting so okay so we're gonna have to use a whole new roll now to try and line everything up Good job we've got so many rolls, right? And hopefully that one would line up with another piece along here somewhere. A short piece, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna get this right this time. Ah, there it is, got it. Okay, so I found it. Oh, another blade's missing. I found it and, um, the blades randomly fell out. Let's put that back in, make sure it's nice and safe. Looks way off now. Some of the paint has come off here, so I'm a bit worried about this. But we're still going to try. This is going to be the tricky bit. Let me show you. I've got a tricky bit now of um, going behind the radiator. So, yeah, wish me luck. This is going to be interesting here. So, I'm just going to push it close to the wall and try and lay it flat if I can. Let's do some more, shall we? See if we can get um, any more out of this roll. Let's see if we can use this bit that's left. So that's the end. That's the end of this roll. 
That's way too long. This came in handy a lot so far. So I'm trying to save as much as this as I can because I'm not sure what I'm going to need. I still have two rolls left, so this should hopefully be enough. The sellotape at the end is pretty easy to peel off, so that's really good. I thought it was going to be ripping and stretching the design, but it hasn't. Oh, it has ripped it um, a little bit there. Hopefully you won't need to use that there. There we go. Okay, let's try and do it next, the next bit. So. It looks like we need to use it right to the top. And then there's just enough to go behind the radiator, I believe. So that piece is literally perfect. Thank goodness something's worked out. Okay. Let's go for it. We're on a roll, let's do this. Okay, so again, I'm gonna pull down a um, couple of centimeters so I can get it nice and straight at the top. This stuff is so good for only £3.19 a roll though. Look at how like cooler now that looks. Just a white area. And this stuff, you can just peel it straight off when you don't want it anymore. And that's what I wanted because I like to change my home around a lot and have different themes, themes and things like that. So this is a great idea. And if I do mess it up, it doesn't cost that a lot to get more or, yeah, so much cheaper than wallpaper. Perfect. Come and check this out. Come and check this out. Sorry about that. Check this out. The crease is here. Look at that pattern. I did it. It actually matches up. I hope we did the next bit like it. How cool is this? Okay, let's do some more. This is, is this stuff is stays up and I'm happy with it. I'm doing the whole house in this stuff. Because this has only cost me six pounds so far. Six pounds. Sorry to be as that six pound about six pound thirty to do this. And I still have a tiny bit left. So So it's not as perfect as I would like, but here we go. I have completed the wall and here it is. So across the ceiling, you can see where I've messed up the design a little bit. But look, sorry about the mess, let's take you off so you can see. Okay, so. Here is a loads of mess everywhere, but yes, as you can see, it is the whole of the wall complete. There is a few weird bits on this. And over here, I only had a small piece left, so I had to kind of monster mash that together. 
and I've only got a few tiny bits of paper left. This is all I've got left. Okay, so now I've finished the wallpapering, it's now time to get on with painting my airing cupboard door and my bathroom door. So I am using a gloss that I have just got from Amazon as well. So I have got this from Amazon, this is another tin of gloss because the last one I had was from the pound shop and it wasn't that great. So I'm hoping that this one will work better. So back to the boring painting now. I will give this a nice mix and I'll find a brush and then we'll begin to paint. Okay, to begin with, I'm going to paint this door because um, I want it nice and painted before my kids get home from school. So I'll come back when I'm finished and show you. So I have cleaned down this cupboard and I had an idea these panels, I want them to match. So I'm going to see how much stuff we got left and if I can, and if I can do this. So let's check it out. That looks so cool. So right, this is where I need some help from you guys. I need to know whether I need to paint these black or to leave them gold. So comment below, please. I would love to know what you think. So this is what the gold looks like on this paper. It's quite cool, you can see it. And I have these picture frames that I wanna put up to. So this is what they look like gold on the black. I'm not sure about it at all. If not, my next decision is if I were to paint these black, which I think I will. What do you think? Yeah, let me know what you think. If they should stay gold or they should go black. Okay. And I think that concludes my video for today. So yes, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, what do you guys think? I'd love to know um, if you think the gold or we should go black. That'd be really helpful and really help me out because I'm not sure what to do there. And yeah, just thank you so much for coming along on my journey of trying to sort out my bathroom. And yeah, there will be probably a part three where we paint things and yeah, if we're painting the skull heads, buying some flowers maybe 
and lots of other bits and bobs so there will definitely be a part three to this and i hope you all have a really lovely day thank you so much for coming along and i will see you in the next video tomorrow and don't forget be weird be yourself and be different because otherwise you're just boring goodbye